The car was produced in two versions, a four-door sedan and a five-door station wagon. Their bodies are galvanized, but over time, in places most exposed to sand and dirt, zinc is knocked out, and corrosion centers appear. Attention should be paid to the wheel arches of the rear fenders and the front parts of the sills. So long. Many of the machines in operation are equipped with air conditioning or climate control. The ventilation and heating system deserves all praise. After all, even for the rear passengers, air ducts are separately connected. Wide A-pillars and a high stern somewhat limit visibility. The luggage compartment of the car is quite roomy. Besides, the convertible rear seats allow you to increase it if necessary, and thanks to the low loading height, putting and getting things is very convenient. Engine. On average, the motor resource of power units before replacing the rings is about 300,000 kilometers. Every 50,000 kilometers, the timing of all engines needs to adjust the thermal clearances of the valves. With the same frequency, it is necessary to change the timing belt. Engines with a volume of 1.8 and 2.0 liters are more expensive to maintain, since they will also have to replace the balance shaft drive belt during this procedure. The 1.9-liter turbo diesel engine is noisier than German or Japanese diesels. As operating experience shows, fuel injectors serve on average about 100,000 kilometers. Transmission. Deidre was equipped with 5-speed manual and 4-speed automatic gearboxes, the latter borrowed from Volkswagen. There are no complaints about these nodes, and with timely maintenance, they last a long time. Depending on the engine, the clutch can be equipped with different types of drives. With the strong wear of the disc on machines with a mechanical drive, the clutch cable breaks, and on cars with hydraulics, the cuffs of the clutch slave cylinder leak over time. All-wheel drive versions of the HF Integral, equipped with a powerful 169 horsepower turbocharged engine, are a rarity. It is better to refrain from buying them, since they were operated in extreme conditions, many components and assemblies, including the transmission, may be worn out. Suspension. The Deidre's undercarriage is quite stiff, while independent front and rear suspensions allow for decent cornering speeds. The front suspension is not too tenacious, ball bearings serve 40 to 50,000 kilometers. Moreover, they change only in assembly with the lever and its silent blocks. If the rear wheels are sideways, it means that the bearings of the rear levers are out of order. Steering. The rack and pinion steering has good feedback. In addition, most of the machines operated are equipped with a hydraulic booster. On cars without power steering, the steering rack bushing breaks over time. Tie rod ends are not too durable either. They nourish 30 to 40,000 kilometers on our roads. Brake system. The brake system of most cars is equipped with disc mechanisms. On machines older than 10 years, the brake force distributor fails, which manifests itself in a deterioration in braking efficiency. But the brake system of the turbo diesel version can create the most trouble. Over time, on cars older than six to seven years, its vacuum pump may fail. Structurally, it is connected with the camshaft. Therefore, the replacement of parts is carried out only together. The purchase of Lancia Didra can be advised to temperamental fans of Italian cars.